let's talk about a very interesting lizard, the fish scale gecko. So this is the fish scale gecko. They are native to Madagascar, and as you can see from this picture, they have a very large scale. So most reptiles tend to have like smaller, like more fine scales. These guys have some pretty big ones, hence the name fish scale gecko, because it does look more like fish scales than it does other reptile scales. Now I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with a defense mechanism that lots of lizards have in dropping their tails to get away from predators, but this guy does something a little different. Slight trigger warning, this might be a little bit gross. This is a, another picture of a fish-tailed gecko, but he is freshly peeled. So the scales on this gecko are, in addition to being very large, they are also very loose. They fall off very, very easily, as we can see here. Now it's important to note that he is completely fine. This gecko, totally chill, living his best life. So basically what happens? If there is a threat to this gecko, uh, say a predator wants to come and munch him up. He does not want that. So, and when the predator gets this gecko in his mouth, gecko just kind of slips out and leaves most of his scales behind in the predator's mouth. So the predator that wanted to eat the gecko is left with a bunch of scales and the gecko is left peeled. Now again, he's fine, they grow back. It may take a couple weeks, but these scales do grow back eventually to the same degree. There is no lasting damage from them. So that is a very interesting defense mechanism, similar to dropping the tails. However, the funny part is, <laughs> it made them ironically hard to study, because the scientists trying to study these geckos had a very hard time catching them due to the scales coming off whenever they tried to catch a gecko to study. They just couldn't catch them well. So yeah, here we go, a very cute little guy with a somewhat interesting defense mechanism.